De Portugees Paulo Teixeira maakt al twee jaar een tocht door Europa. Hij vertrok in Lissabon en eindigde bij de kerstman in Lapland. Hij is nu op de weg terug naar Lissabon. Hij maakte op maandag 12 december een tussenstop in Zomer Eind, waar hij te gast was bij Ingrid Schepers en Rob van der Laar. Ja, hi, hallo. Uh, Mijn naam is Amigo Paulo en ik... En ik werk bij dogs, dus so, uh, we zijn uit Portugal een lange tijd geleden, bijna twee jaar. En je vraagt me waarom ik dit doe. Ik vertel altijd aan mijn vrienden en families waarom ik dit doe. Dus ik verloor mijn baan een lange tijd geleden, natuurlijk. En ik besloot om iets voor mijn leven te doen. En ik heb een hond, ik heb mijn team Golden Art. My three dogs, Jack, and yeah, and Heidi, and uh, so uh, problems, you know, uh, in Lisbon, no problems to find a job, no money, it's not possible to pay the house too, so uh, I must do something. Uh, so I run all my life, my, it's my sport favorite, and uh, why not maybe change my life, a walk. I'm not expect. In this moment, I dream walk around Europe. It's true, independent. My life about job, okay. But uh, I, I, I think it's uh, I'm going now, without nothing. But I go. I don't know what, what's happened when I go. <laughs> <laughs> and your your plan was to go to Finland and to talk with with Santa, right? Uh, yes. That's your goal, finally. Yes. When I when I when I when I walk, I have uh, one point, one objective to stop. Of course, I like Christmas time all my life, and I will be continue. You can look my car. I have all many things about Christmas time because I love, I like. And why I go there? Because uh, I don't know something special, Lapland, the story of Niami, uh, the Christmas, uh, all these things give me inspiration to walk. So this is why I walk and why I cross all the Europe to see a Santa Claus. Is to see a Santa Claus, is to see Christmas time, you know. So uh, to change my life. And you did make it, right? You you talked with Santa. Uh, yeah, it's funny because we talk about this story. Uh, so what I mean is, I continue walk. We have uh, another Christmas again, but uh, when I when I finish in Ravenyami, I finish in this year the February. 24 and 25 the February this year. So now it's funny to talk about this because we are at Christmas again, uh, one year almost, almost one year after. Anyway, uh, yeah, Mr. Santa Claus is feel surprised to see someone, uh, a man walk with three dogs, uh, walk all Europe to see your village. Of course, um, what you tell me is a pleasure to, to see me and uh, it's a pleasure for the village Christmas time to receive someone walk and to the vulgation, the story, the, the Robin Yami. Mm -hmm. uh, so we talk a, a little bit uh, about my trip and Christmas time. And along the way, did you, you must have met a lot of people who helped you and did, did you meet some, make some friends? Yeah, absolutely. About uh, friends and families around Europe, it's uh, really amazing because the beginning, uh, uh, I find all the time people kind, uh, I mean people, uh, just a simple persons or maybe uh, families. Mm -hmm. And uh, around Europe, uh, I, I find good people. So, you know, when you, when the people knows about my story and talk to me and uh, after this, try to help me a lot of things about presents, about uh, uh, a little bit money, not so much, mm -hmm. but uh, like this one, this kind of, the, how you call the name, I forget it, the name. The sweater. No? Okay, the yeah. sweater, for example, shoes and materials. So this is uh, what happened when you walk a uh, long distance and long way and you find good people and families. So this is, why and how I can live, I can walk with my dogs. And did you at times, uh, nobody was there to help you? You, you? you couldn't stay somewhere at some place with somebody or you had to make or find your own food? Yeah, uh, it's true. Of course, when I start, I start without nothing. Uh, I repeat, uh, I'm sorry, I, I tell all the time, uh, 15 euros. So um, uh, when I start 15 euros, there's nothing for start. Uh, to do to walk 
around Europe, but I'm not expected around Europe. The beginning, I start to in Portugal and go to the Spain, and you know, slowly because I don't know what I expect. I don't know what can kind of things can happen to me and with my dogs. So um, of course, the beginning, my seven, eight months, the beginning, it's uh, very hard because not so much uh, divulgation, not nothing. I start without nothing. We are suffering, of course, we are suffering a lot. Now better, mm -hmm. absolutely. And when you are back in, in Lisbon, uh, do you think things have changed? Do you think you can get a job or how, how do you continue with your life when you're when you back? Okay, uh, about, my, about my future, right? Now I return to Portugal. Yeah. So my, my first point is Lisbon Rovaniemi. I complete, it's like a dream too for me. So I realize my dream, I feel happy. But now when I return, Elizabeth is for two, three, three causes. It's a one, it's because friends and families around my passage, people help me. So I want to say again, thank you, my friends, and see again. And, uh, and this has happened. The second one, it's for I need to complete the travel in Lisbon because I must have crossed all Europe, right? Mm -hmm. And finally, it's write a book. So my future about job, it's uh, is going to be happen in Sweden. I hope uh, about job and about a book to the Team Golden Heart story. Okay, so, so you're going back to Sweden to live there and to write your book, to and to work there, right? Correctly, uh, yes. So I stay for a while. I don't know how much time. I don't know one, two, three weeks in Lisbon. I don't know. Depends what's happening in there. And uh, uh, I must change my, my documents uh, for European to, to keep staying in Sweden. So I want to try a new, a new life in Sweden. But uh, the beginning, uh, now, I want just only finish and back to Sweden, write to the book, start to work, and we'll see in the future if I stay or not. But I return to Sweden, yes. Okay, and why Sweden? Well, uh, it's uh, it's very easy. Uh, Sweden is uh, it's off apart the the Europe I cross. Mm -hmm. uh, so if I have in the moment twelve thousand kilometers, I spend one year in Sweden and Finland, basically eleven months in Sweden, up and down, and Finland up and down, but short time. So one year in these two countries. So this is why I have more families, more friends, more kilometers, more stories. So. This is why I go write my story book in English, but in Sweden. Yeah. A trip like you did, would you recommend other people doing such a thing? Or is it a one-time one -time thing for you? Yes, I understand your question. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know what can I say, but uh, it's wonderful. But uh, of course, it's happened a lot of things. Uh, I will be uh, divulgation in the book, okay? Mm -hmm. It's because it's a long way, it's, it's happened a lot of things, a little bit negative too, so it's not everything, it's perfect, okay? But uh, if you ask, you ask me if uh, I recommend the people, if uh, about sports, if you want to see Europe, yes, we, are, we have a beautiful Europe. We have very kind people in Europe, that's true. But we must think too, it's happened. More things, sometimes we don't like to see, we don't like to happen, you know? But anyway, we are here, everything is okay. Uh, we'll see what happens the next five or six months to finish, perhaps in May, I hope, in safe with the dogs. And uh, so uh, I recommend, it's wonderful, but we must think it's happened, thanks, okay, good and bad. Yeah. But it's very, very positive, absolutely. Yes, Heidi, come on here, come on. Hey, come on here. Jullie hebben een hele speciale gast vandaag. Hoe is hij hier terecht gekomen? Ik volg Paulo sinds een jaar op Facebook. En Paulo is iemand die had een droom. En die heeft hij proberen te verwezenlijken. Hij wilde heel graag naar de kerstman in Lapland. En hij had... Uh, in Portugal zelf geen werk en geen verblijfplaats, geen vaste verblijfplaats. Alleen uh, wel drie honden. En uh, hij switchte iedere keer uh, van uh, zusje naar zusje en van tante naar uh, broer. En 
Op een gegeven moment had hij gezegd van Paulo, we willen jou heel graag helpen, maar niet jouw honden. En toen uh, is hij uh, op, uh, hij is 10 januari is hij jarig. En toen is hij uh, 43 geworden. En 11 januari loopt hij met een karretje en drie honden vanuit Lissabon over de Pyreneeën naar Santa, uh, uh, Santiago de Compostela. En um, toen had hij zoiets van, moet ik hiermee doorgaan, moet ik uh, stoppen, want hij had, voor het, hij had het voor het koud en hij had honger. En uh, hij wist niet goed uh, wat hij met uh, zijn honden moest uh, gaan doen. En um, hij kwam er iemand tegen en heeft hem zoveel moed in, ingepraat. En hij uh, gaat door de bergen en uh, afgelopen uh, februari heeft hij uh, Rovanimi bereikt en heeft hij uh, een gesprek aangeknoopt met de kerstman. En waarom is hij dan speciaal in zomer eind terecht gekomen en helemaal bij jullie? Ja, hij had toevallig zijn route hier op aan en we hebben hem dus gevolgd. En we wisten, of hij wist eigenlijk van ons dat hij bij ons kon overnachten. Dus toen heeft hij eigenlijk de route ook speciaal langs ons gelegd en zodoende is hij nou hier. En jullie hebben hem ook kunnen helpen met het repareren of beter maken van zijn kar verder? Ja, we zijn vandaag eigenlijk bezig met zijn kar in orde te maken, zijn wielen, de remmen vooral. Want hij gaat dadelijk weer verder richting België en dan gaat het weer op en af. Dus er zijn een paar goede remmen heel belangrijk. Dus, uh, ja. En hoe lang blijft hij dan bij jullie? Vannacht nog en al morgen vroeg uh, gaat hij richting België. So, Merry Christmas for all my friends. And families golden art for in the world, but specifically uh, in this moment here in Holland for all my friends, friends and families here too. So Merry Christmas, yo ho!